Hello and welcome back to the Pettoon Channel. As you can see, there is a surfing theme to today's program. Uh, the reasons for that will become obvious uh, a little bit further down the track on this video. But uh, first, I want to talk about uh, invisible dogs. I get messages from all over the world asking about care and maintenance for an invisible dog. Well, let me tell you, it's pretty easy because half the time with Wilson, I don't even know he's there. Uh, and that's always a sign of a good dog. Uh, but here are a couple of tips that I recommend for looking after an invisible dog. Yeah, this is how I set up Wilson. Just a nice blanket and his food. Make sure your invisible dog is on a blanket or some such though, as you can stand on them pretty easily. Then there's a matter of cleanliness for an invisible dog. We, they, they shed a lot of hair. That's just one uh, a heads up I should give people who want to get an invisible dog. There's hair shed. That's what I call it. Uh, so that's a problem. Uh, you've just got to tackle that as best you can as you would a normal dog. There's also the occasional accident that uh, Wilson has because he's not a young dog anymore. And uh, this is just how I normally clean it up. Now, before we go any further, we're going to do a profile on, uh, on one of our workers. As you may or may not know, we did a profile on a worker in our last episode, and it went over a dream. We got thousands of comments on her. Uh, so we're going to do another profile today. This time, it's for Flick Evans. Flick is our financial manager, and he takes care of all the money that comes into the Pet Tune Studios. Uh, I don't know what we'd do without him. Here's Flick. Yeah, that's Flick. He hasn't been with us long, but his hobbies, when he's not working flat out for the Pet Tune Studios, uh, his hobbies are gambling, drinking with friends, and traveling. So good on you, Flick. Uh, unfortunately, Flick's duties often call him out of the Pet Tune Studios for quite some time, uh, so he's not here all that often. In fact, I haven't seen him uh, for a couple of weeks, but uh, I know he's working hard for the Pet Tune Studios, and we thank Flick for his service. For now, it's, uh, it's pet tune time. This time, I'm doing a pet tune about a surfing dog, hence our surfing theme for this, this broadcast. Uh, his name's Blue, and uh, it's a good name because he's a healer, a blue healer, and there's a lot of blue healers out there called Blue, I reckon. And Blue, it took him a while, but he's uh, getting, uh, getting pretty good on the surfboard. And uh, here's the picture the client sent me. Yes, Blue, he's a good old dog. He's good at surfing too. Uh, a lot of people, I must say, don't realise that I have had a, 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 long, a long history of semi-competitive surfing over the years. I've done a lot of things, bull riding and, and all that sort of stuff, but surfing has always been my first love. Uh, I used to go down the beach and uh, have a couple of friends, the, uh, the three amigos they used to call us. And here's a picture of me and the three, and the other two amigos way back in the day. <laughs> Look at us, oh, I wish I was that age again. Here's another one. Yeah, we had fun. This one's with Jonesy, have a look at him. Yeah, those dolphins. That was a big dolphin, admittedly, but they're beautiful, beautiful natured. We love them hanging around. Uh, but here we go. I'm gonna do the pet tune, and I hope it turns out well for Blue and his, his owner, and I hope it does him justice. So here it comes.
Yeah, that's good old Blue. It was great fun doing that pet turn for him, and he looks pretty good, I reckon. Now, uh, I often go, still, go down surfing. The three Amigos, alas, are no longer together. Uh, but that doesn't worry me. I get out there and hit those waves, as pet turn management around here will tell you. I'm an avid, avid surfer, and really I'm at one with the waves. But don't forget, we've got to get those subscriptions up to a million by the end of March. And if you haven't subscribed, ask yourself that hard question as I mentioned the other day. Why haven't you subscribed? Go and do it, because I'd really appreciate it. We've got to get to that one million by the end of March. That's the end of the Pet Turn uh, uh, video for today. I hope you can join me next time, and until then, it's goodbye from me.